Let's compare Windows 11 24H2 to Windows 11 23H2. On the left, we have Windows 11 23H2 build 22631, which was released on the 31st of October 2023. And on the right, we have Windows 11 24H2 build 26100, which was released on the 1st of October 2024. In Windows 11 23H2, when you click on your username in the Start menu, it comes up with a menu containing Change Account Settings, Lock, Sign Out, and a list of all other users. In Windows 11 24H2, it comes up with a user profile with three dots in the top right corner, and clicking those three dots brings up a menu containing Sign Out and Switch User. In Windows 11 23H2, to switch users from the Start menu, you select that user from the list. In 24H2, you click Switch User and then select the user from the sign-in screen. In Windows 11 23H2, Lock is in the Account menu. In 24H2, it has been moved to the Power menu, and Sign-in Options has been removed from the Power menu. In Windows 11 23H2, the shutdown dialog that comes up when you press Alt F4 on the desktop still has the Windows branding at the top. In 24H2, it does not. In Windows 11 24H2, the quick settings has multiple pages. In 23H2, it does not. In 23H2, there is an option to edit quick settings. In 24H2, there is not. In 24H2, when you right-click on a File Explorer tab, there is an option to duplicate tab. In 23H2, there is not. In 24H2, when you right-click a file, the icons at the top of the menu have labels under them. In 23H2, they do not. In Windows 11 23H2, you can only compress to zip. In 24H2, you can also compress to 7Z or TAR. In 24H2, you can also specify advanced options such as compression method or compression level, which you cannot do in 23H2. Let's compare MS Paint. In 23H2, to change the brush size, you use the size dropdown at the top. In 24H2, there is a size slider at the left, and there are more brush sizes available. In 24H2, in addition to bitmap, JPEG, GIF, PNG, ICO, HIC, and web, you can also import a VIF images but they both have the same save options. In 24H2, Task Manager has a new icon. In 23H2, WordPad is still present. In 24H2, WordPad has been removed. To get WordPad back in 24H2, you can go to a computer with Windows 11 23H2 or an earlier version of Windows. Then go to C, Program Files, Windows NT, Accessories, and copy the contents into a folder on Windows 11 24H2 and then run wordpad.xe. If you are currently running Windows 11 23H2 or an older version of Windows, then you may want to copy this to another folder before upgrading to Windows 11 24H2. Let's compare the installer. In Windows 11 24H2, the installer UI has been updated for the first time since Windows 8, and this is the most major update to the installer UI since Windows Vista. They both start with a window with the Windows 7 basic skin on a purple background. In 23H2, the window has a purple background on the inside. In 24H2, it has a white background on the inside. In 23H2, the title is Windows Setup. In 24H2, the title is Windows 11 Setup. In 23H2, it has the Windows logo and says the word Windows at the top. In 24H2, it says Select Language Settings at the top. In 23H2, it has Language, Time, and Currency Format and Keyboard Layout on the first page. 
In 24H2, it just has language and time and currency format on the first page, and keyboard layout is on the next page. In 23H2, it has an Install Now button in the middle and a Repair Your Computer link in the bottom left. In 24H2, it has Install Windows 11 and Repair My PC as radio buttons. In 24H2, when you go to repair, it asks you to choose your keyboard layout. In 23H2, it does not. The repair UI looks the same, but the icons have been updated. In 23H2, the Windows style changes when you get to the setup part, and there is a progress bar at the bottom of the screen below the window. But this is not actually a real window. It can't be dragged around. It is just part of a full screen application. You can see this if I bring up a window and then click on the Windows setup. You can't see the other window behind the Windows setup window. This differs from 24H2, where you can still see the other window behind the Windows setup and the initial part of the 23H2 setup. The disk partition part of the setup is fairly similar in both, but the UI has been tweaked and the options are at the top instead of at the bottom. And of course, in 24H2 it is still in a real window, but in 23H2 it is in a fake window inside a full screen application. Here is a screenshot of what that part of the setup looks like in Windows XP, Windows Vista, Windows 7, Windows 8, Windows 11 23H2, and Windows 11 24H2. While it is installing, 23H2 stays inside that fake window inside a full screen application with a progress bar at the bottom. 24H2 switches to a full screen UI with a blue background and white text. Here is a screenshot showing what the Windows XP, Windows Vista, Windows 7, Windows 8, Windows 11 23H2, and Windows 11 24H2 setup look like while installing. Goodbye.